What's up guys, Matt back again with another unboxing video and today we're gonna be reviewing the Orange Piccolo Masterly's figure from the Ichiban Kuji, Dragon Ball vs Omnibus Beast. But like always guys, remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, ring the bell notification so that way you get notified whenever I make a brand new video, like this video if you enjoy it, and of course, comment your thoughts down below in the comment section at the end of the review so we can have a discussion. If you'd like to consider becoming a member of this channel for only $3 a month, that'll give you access to our Discord server where there's a great community and helpful tips and tools to help you on your journey as a Dragon Ball collector. This figure is based on Orange Piccolo during the film Dragon Ball Super Super Hero. His reference is from Akira Toriyama's illustration for this new form. This figure is an Ichiban Kuji release and if you'd like to learn more about Ichiban Kuji, please check out the video linked in my description after this review is done. This Kuji set consists of Beast Gohan, Orange Piccolo, Cell Max, Super Saiyan Gotenks, Gotenks, Super Buu, and Special Beam Cannon Beast Gohan. This Kuji set was released in Japan on May 5th, 2023 and will have an overseas release except for the Special Beam Cannon Beast Gohan. There are no variations of this figure currently. If you'd like to purchase these figures, then I'd recommend checking out the links in my description below for the best sites to check out. This figure is made of PVC and stands at about 10 and a half inches. Piccolo comes whole with his support. Like always guys, let's dive into the figure, talk about what we like and dislike about it, and give each area of the figure a rating out of 5. Just like Gohan, it's about time we got a proper Ichiban Kuji of my personal favorite of the new forms from Superhero, Orange Piccolo. Piccolo deserved a significant power up to catch him up properly to the other defenders of Earth, and I'm happy it's as badass as this one. Piccolo deserves more figures, and I'm glad we're getting more as time goes on. They captured his movie counterpart's likeness perfectly. Everything from his glowing red eyes, the bolded lines around his eyes to give him a more sinister look, and his bigger jawline and facial features are done excellently. I also like the small touches around his eyebrows, under his eyes, and his cheekbones to give the figure some extra detail. And what can I say about the sculpt of this thing? Every detail from the rips and tears of his gi to his massive bulging muscles was done in spectacular fashion. The figure is also pretty heavy for a Master Lee's, which feels right for a figure of this size and quality. The way they sculpted this figure's upper body is probably my favorite part of the whole design. This one also has my second favorite paint and shading application out of the entire Omnibus Beast set. He's so colorful with bright and dark colors to really make him pop. Shading was applied all throughout the figure seen on his skin and gi. His mixes of yellows and oranges for his skin makes the design really stand out. He's certainly a lot bigger than I expected. I'm beginning to wonder actually if Bandai has been dropping King Cluster and the Masterly subsets like E-Moving and Extra because this figure is just as big as a Masterly's Extra release. Being the second largest figure in this set and really showing it when on display makes me lean into that speculation. He's just as big as he needs to be for this type of release and I'm very satisfied with his size. This has to be the best Piccolo figure I've ever gotten. He's big, massive, and just has an awesome cool factor about him. I love Orange Piccolo from the movie, he's probably my favorite part of that movie, but having a figure of this size and scale is just so cool. I highly recommend you buy him, and I'm going to give him a rating of 5 out of 5 today. 
Guys, thanks again for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment your thoughts down below so we can have a discussion on this figure. And if you'd like to consider becoming a member of the channel, that way you can talk to me every day directly on Discord. Please consider becoming a member today. There's a great community on there. It's only three bucks a month and we give you plenty of tools and we can share a collection together and just, you know, create a relationship. But until the next video, guys, I will see you later.